Hello everyone, my name is Sarah. I go by G Sarah on Instagram and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to design and print your own labels from home. But first off, you're gonna to wanna to buy your sheets of blank labels. I buy mine from onlinelabels.com and I do this because with onlinelabels.com, there's this thing called Maestro Label Designer. Once you've created your label design on Canva, you can then upload it to Maestro Labels. And since it's connected with onlinelabels.com, it has all of the templates the layouts of the labels that you can order ready to print exactly the way that it needs to be printed on the blank labels that you bought, if that makes sense. So I'm just, I'm going to go through this the way that I do it. I'm not saying this is the only way to do it because it's absolutely not. This is just the way that I do it. So I order my blank labels from online labels. They have thousands of templates and different sized labels layouts that you can buy from. So go take a look. There's usually a couple different versions of the same size labels. Like they can pack them in more to a page or sometimes they'll spread them out in case you want them to be able to bleed to the outside of the label. But also what you're going to need obviously is a printer. I have the HP NV6055. I thought it was called the 6000. HP NV6000. This is by no means a fancy printer. This was like $120 from Office Max or, or Office Depot, which I'm fairly certain are the same place. This is a very cheap printer, but it works really, really well. So um, if whatever printer you have at home, I think this is an inkjet printer. I'm going to have all of the companies linked down in the description so that if you hear something and you want to go check it out, like Canva, for instance, because I'm about to do um, a walkthrough of that. If you want to pull up Canva, there's a free version and you can kind of go along with me. And um, if you like it, you can do the paid version, which just includes um, a lot of new features. Like there's a background remover and a lot of the um, templates and images and stuff. A lot of it is for the pro, which is $12.99 a month, but you can still do a lot of this stuff on the free version. So just keep in mind though, that mine is the paid version. So a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm not hundred percent sure if it's something that's only on Canva Pro. I'm not sure. Let's imagine that you have figured out what size labels you need. You have ordered your blank labels from online labels or Avery or whatever, and you're waiting for them to come in the mail. Now would be a good time to start designing your labels. So let's pull up Canva. This is my actual business Canva. So um, it might look a little bit different on the free version. I'm not 100% sure, but what you're going to want to do is come over here to create a design. And from here, they have a lot of pre-sized things based on what a lot of the things that you would want to design in Canva are. Like um, an Instagram post is going to be that square, so that's pre-sized to that. An Instagram story is going to be the full length of the phone, so it'll be sized to that. YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnail. The channel art was so helpful because I had no idea what the size of that was. Um, and, and they've got, they've got all kinds of stuff, but let's say that we are wanting to do the size of one of the labels that we actually bought. So we're going to come down here to custom size and we're going to do four by three. And I like to do inches because normally, woo, because normally whenever you buy your labels, it's in inches. From here, as you can see on the side of the screen, there's a bunch of templates. There's a lot of, um, different aspects to it that you can change, like the colors, you can change the text, the font size, you can get rid of stuff, you can add stuff to it. That's a good way to kind of get your brain juices flowing as far as like creativity and get some ideas on how you might want to do your label. So for instance, I don't know, you could put your candle brand name. <laughs> so creative i know and then the scents and you know whatever else you want to have on your candle you can add all that into a template which is a good way to get started i made all of mine from scratch so i'm gonna start from scratch so blank canvas first probably we would want to put our brand name these over here are really just like a kickstart into um, the size-ish that you think you're going to want. Whenever you have Canva Pro, you can come in here and you can customize what font all of these are. But I just kind of use it as a way to get started with um, a specific font size. Like that's obviously huge. And then the small one is tiny. We're going to put our brand name. Um, I, I don't want to use a random name because I don't know if it belongs to anybody so I'm gonna 
I'm just going to put G. Sarah. G. Sarah candles. And then let's say we want the name to be Ocean Breeze. Is that how you spell breeze? I'm not sure. Then you can come up here to change the font. Let's do do e. You know, that might look cute if it wasn't all caps. Let's try that. Yeah. Okay. Now I want it to be bigger. And I always like the candle name to have color. Okay. This is not going to look like a very good <laughs> label, just so you know. I'm just kind of giving you guys an idea. There are legal requirements to what you need to have on your labels. Like, I know it needs to say that it's a candle. So let's put luxury soy wax candle. Ooh, wax candle. And then we also need to have volume in ounces and in grams. So 12 ounce is, I put mine on my warning labels because you can do that. If you don't wanna have too much text going on on your actual label, you can put it on your warning label. That's not 12 ounces, this is 12 ounces, 340 grams. You have to have ounces and grams. Now, I feel like this is too big. These two are too big, so I want to make it smaller, but keep in mind that your printer is not going to be able to print it legible if it's too small. So that's probably the smallest I would go is right there. Now, I feel like these letters are just kind of too close together. So I want to space them out. You're going to come up here to spacing, letter spacing. Let's, let's spread them out a bit. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. All right. See, now I kind of want to put that at the top. Luxury soy wax candle. Now, let's say I like this, this text. I like the way that it's spaced out. I want to um, copy it, so I'm going to go to copy. I was about to do it on my keyboard and realized you can't see that, so copy and paste. And I'm going to change the color to the color that I already have as the candle name. And now let's say this is, oh my god, what kind of scents are in an ocean candle? <laughs> I don't have one yet, so I don't know. Coconut sea foam. <laughs> is that how you spell sea foam? Coconut sea foam and amber. I can't think of anything. I'm sure that would smell disgusting, just so you know. Don't, I mean, maybe, maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Now let's say we, yeah, maybe like that. Or if we want to have them all kind of separate like that. Okay. So this is good because we've got our, um, we have that it says that it's a luxury soy wax candle. We got the name of the candle, the scents of the candle, the brand. I'm not sure I like where that is. Hold on. Maybe this should be down here and this should be up there. And notice whenever I'm moving all this stuff around, it has that um, kind of, God, what's the word? It has lines where, where you need to line everything up. Grid. There we go. It's basically like a grid and it shows you exactly how to line everything up. There's also a tool on here and sometimes this doesn't work out great, but sometimes it works out wonderfully. You're going to select everything and then come up here to the three dots, click on position, and then go all the way to the bottom where it says tidy up and it'll space everything out like evenly. And I mean, that really wasn't a huge difference, but it, it did space it out a little bit better. There's kind of a big gap here, but in the free version, you're not gonna have all of the fonts. A lot of these are for pro and that has this little crown over here. Um, let's go to elements and add, add something kind of cute. Now, sometimes you're going to run into this problem where you put something on here and then like, oh my God, now I can't select it. You can zoom in. I did that with my keyboard, but you can do it down here too. You can zoom in. Oh my God. Or you can just move something out of the way <laughs> and then move it back and then zoom out. All right. Now, if you notice over here, it's got all of the colors that are being used in that element. 
and that image and you can change it. So I want to make it look more like what's going on here. So a blue coconut, like Sonic, right? The ocean, oh, did I just ocean breeze? What's that drink at Sonic called? I did not mean to do that, but I think that works out. And it's blue, kind of ripped this off from Sonic. Okay, so let's change amber to um, blue raspberry. <laughs> Here is our label. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. So kind of like we did with the, the line spacing, we can do the same thing with the, um, with how close together the lines are if you want them to be like, you, I mean, you can even have them overlapping if you wanted to. Not sure why you would do that, but you can. And then the letter spacing. Oh, you can make it a little bit bigger. Ooh. Maybe, maybe like that. I don't know. This isn't, this is not the best uh, looking label, but it, it's a label. It works. I showed you the basics. So from here, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to share. You're going to go down to download. Depending on what you're doing, you'll, you may or may not want a transparent background for the labels. Probably not. You probably want the entire thing that you designed. So we're going to download the label and there it is. Now let's open up a new tab and go to um, online labels. Let me just show you how to get there from, from there. Online labels. This is online labels. This is where I order all of my blank sheets of labels. Let's go to blank labels. This will be where you want to order your blank label sheets. So we're going to go to sizes and now you can scroll down and just look for it. Like there it is right there or I believe there's a search at the top. And now you're gonna order them blank or you can do custom labels and then you can just upload your image that you just made on Canva and they will send them to you already printed out. I like to do it from home. So we're gonna do blank labels, select the material. This is kind of something you might wanna do some research before you buy because the white gloss will smudge. It will smudge. Um, I accidentally bought a hundred sheets of the white gloss for my big labels. I like to buy the weatherproof for this, but I accidentally bought a hundred sheets of the white gloss in that size. So I actually figured something out. I decided to not let them go to waste. And so I printed out my logo. I mean, it's not really my entire logo. It's just uh, the name part of my logo, but I printed it out and then I cut them all in half. So now I have stickers like this and I think I'm just going to use them as part of my packaging until I run out which is going to be a while because I have 100 sheets of these but that way I'm not wasting it you know and I like to buy everything in bulk to save money so then whenever I make a mistake I don't want to waste all of my labels so be creative if something like that happens to you you can always be creative come up with other uses for it but here you're going to select the material there are options for laser and inkjet you obviously want to pick the one for the actual printer that you have so let's do weatherproof for inkjet. Select quantity. I always buy 100 sheets at a time. Add to cart, and then you'll have it shipped to yourself. And whenever they come in the mail, you're going to come back onto onlinelabels.com. And if you go over here, this will bring you to the Maestro label designer. So let's go to start designing. This is, again, this is my business account. So this has all of my stuff in it. This sheet right here is this layout. It's that template. I bought that template in blank labels so I can click on it. That's why I like using online labels because it has the Maestro designer and then you can select the actual label that you purchased and it has it all in the format that it needs to be for you to simply upload your image. So now let's go to image. Now this is not going to fit exactly correct because this is a different um, kind of label but it should be close enough. Normally, if you designed this like we did in Canva and you ordered the labels as actually being three inches by four inches, this will fit perfectly. You just want to line it all up where the corners are in the corners of the black line here because the dotted line on the outside, it's room for it to bleed out. And then the red line on the inside is where you really want to make sure that your design is inside of just in case it does kind of shift during printing. So 
like it sticks out just a little bit there but that's not bad in this printer you put it in upside down um oh by the way i'm gonna have all of the stuff tagged i'll have this printer tagged down below if y'all want to use the printer also but this is how i'll print it from home i go to print print now and then i come down here and i click on open directly from your browser and then it's gonna have them all in there like that. Now, for this example, I don't wanna waste that many labels. <laughs> so you'll come over here to multi-design, and from here you can select how many labels you actually wanna print. I only wanna print one right now. If I wanted to print a whole bunch of different labels, I would click on update layout and then add new design and then import a different label. You can print as many different labels as you want onto that sheet, which is awesome. I love that about this, but. I'm just going to print out the one open directly from browser on the weatherproof labels i like to do best but since these are the the uh the glossy ones they can smudge really bad so uh let's just i'll, I'll just i'll do it so i can actually show you that it does it smudges pretty bad while that's printing though if you guys do ever order um a buttload of labels and you realize oh crap i did it wrong you can return them i think within 30 days if you wait longer than the 30 days they will refund you 45 percent of what you paid like it was a year ago that i that i bought these and then i i messaged them and they said that they could refund 45 percent for me that's just that's not really feasible um money because I, I, I have to pay for shipping to send it back and it, I would just basically be giving all of the labels back for free and not really make any refund and I'd rather just keep them and actually use them for something so we printed out our one label it turned out a lot more blue and I've noticed that whenever um, on this printer at least whenever you select high quality the color is a lot more saturated like if I had done medium quality i bet that would look a little bit more green but it's printed out and then you'll just take off your label and there it is there's our label on the uh, glossy finish now let's just see how bad this smudges yikes i mean it's not the end of the world it's not terrible but it is a little bit of smudge if this was on the um, weatherproof mat that would never happen that is how i design and print my own labels from home i use canva to design them i buy them from online labels and then i upload them to maestro to print them out on my hp mv6000 printer so there are a lot of other ways that you can do this this is just how i've done it for a very long time and it, and it works for me i do want to upgrade my printer at some point but it's a good printer and, and, it, and it was i think like 120 dollars. so it's definitely worth it i bought that over a year ago and i've been using it for everything and i love it so yeah that is how i design and print my labels at home i hope that this video was helpful for some of you or at least um inspirational or, or motivating or i don't know at least entertaining at the very least so if you did like this video if you could give it a thumbs up down below that would be super beneficial to myself and if you want to subscribe to the channel that button is also down there as well as the bell if you want to be notified if i upload new videos if when i upload new videos and um anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always be excellent to each other and i will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.